growing a forest. A forest can be planted and then begin to thrive within 10 years, here's how. Whatever your needs are in planting a forest it can be done quickly. Maybe you are interested in logging or you might just be a lover of nature. You will want to start your forest with a fast growing tree and have that tree be in the majority of your forest. Take for instance the eastern white pine tree. These trees would make a great forest for whatever your needs would be. The eastern white pine grows fast, it is great for lumber and offers year-round cover for wildlife. If done correctly, in about 10 years you'll have a fully self-sustainable forest. This is the decade plan to build your forest. Forests are dynamic ecosystems while they are ever-changing. Let's talk about establishing the forest in the beginning. Planting the nature of planting sites varies considerably depending on whether it is a new planting site afforestation or a site being replanted following clearful restocking. Restock sites tend to be more variable due to stumps and branches left on the ground after harvesting, heavy weed growth, the presence of damaging weevils etc. Factors that make the successful replanting of these areas more difficult than on new sites. The use of mounding and bare-rooted transplants requires that plants are manually planted. This back-breaking work is usually carried out using a narrow spade or mattock. Mechanized planting of containerized stock is possible using a special head on the mounding machine but, as containerized plants only account for a small proportion of the annual planting program, it is not widely practiced. There are three basic methods commonly used to manually plant forest trees to start growing your forest. Slit planting, most common method where the slit is made with the spade or mattock and the transplant is inserted into the ground and the slit closed with the heel of the foot and the plant firmed. Angle notch or T-notch planting, similar to slit planting except that two slits are made, either in the shape of a right angle or a T, and the soil is then levered up. The plants are inserted into the hole created and again the plant is firmed. Pit planting, a common method used on flat or uncultivated ground where a small pit is dug and the plant inserted into the hole and the loose soil backfilled and firmed. Bare rooted stock is planted when the transplants are dormant that is when they are best able to withstand the stresses of the lifting, transportation and transplanting into their new location. Bare rooted material is normally planted between October and April although this planting season can be extended using cold stored planting stock. Containerized plants, because they come complete with soil attached to the roots, can be planted at any time of the year, but best results tend to be during spring to midsummer. Correct timing of planting can have a critical impact on successful establishment. Planting during very cold, particularly frosty periods or dry conditions is generally avoided. The distance that trees grow apart can have a significant impact on their growth and development. Widely spaced trees tend to produce large heavy branches, which in the case of conifers such as Sitka spruce or Douglas fir, results in weak and very knotty timber. Closely spaced trees on the other hand tend to have very fine branches, but with little room to develop, tend to have tall thin stems with little individual tree volume. Similarly with broad-leaved species such as ash or oak. Open grown trees produce lots of heavy branches good for firewood but little straight material for sawn timber. Tree spacing is therefore important in growing a commercial forest situation where quality timber production is a priority. Spacing for conifer species is normally to 2 meters or 2,500 plants per hectare. Broad leaves, however, are planted at closer spacing because of the tendency of some species to fork or produce crooked stems. Planting densities of 6,600 for oak and beech and 3,300 for other broadleaves and various layouts are used. The closer spacing creates more competition resulting in straighter and finer branched trees which, when they reach a height of approx 5 meters, are thin to give more space to the remaining trees to develop. In biodiversity or nature conservation areas wide spacing is beneficial as it allows more light onto the forest floor resulting in a greater diversity of ground flora and fauna. Also it provides good habitat for canopy living species which are an important part of the forest biodiversity. Wide spacing is also used in some amenity and recreation areas where the full development of the tree crowns is an attractive feature of the landscape. 
Hope this helps you understand growing a forest a little better. Please leave your comments down below and don't be afraid to share this video.